little trip down memory lane there's Spring Creek back up in there it's lost back in the trees right along the road here this was my playground when I was a child used to come out here to gig frogs hunt salamanders tadpoles and turtles road wasn't here then and there wasn't quite as much traffic and the trail down in there is kind of overgrown now right here it goes onto the road that's some good water down there but uh, I wouldn't drink it see where it's kind of mired you there where it's piled up Well, there's too much traffic. Starting to be a busy road down through here. I was a child. This is an old uh, beat up road that looked, went to the dump. Now it's a way people go around town. We have a slight fog, really overcast. That way is the airport, Woodward Airport. See the car, headlights, long ways off there, about three miles, four miles away, heading this way. And right there, you can kind of notice both sides that long stretch of road straight you can see quite clearly on both sides quite a ways when I was a punk hot rod kid this is where all the kids used to come it's miles out of nowhere evenings there wouldn't hardly be any traffic because it's the road to nowhere basically dead ends behind me here this is where I used to go out and hot rod Really flat, open grassland here. Miles of just pastures, ranches. Oh yeah, and oil wells. These things are everywhere out here. Right there is a fracking well. One of thousands in this area. Red dirt at home. Canyons below. Canadian River Valley. Along the tracks. A big fertilizer plant over the hill there. One of the biggest in the country. See if I can get a picture of that. Over here. A clump of trees.
trees on top of the hill over there. It's Rieger's Hill. Rieger's Hill. Pretty countryside here. Colors in the grass and the all the other uh, vegetation growing around out here. color showing up as well in this image as it is here. There you can see the tower to the airport that I was looking at before on the flat hill. The hill going across there. The ending over there. Long, long flat hill. This is about as good a picture you're going to get of this plant. They've got it surrounded by trees on the other side, and you can only see in the entrance. Well guarded, heavily secured facility. If I was to be any closer filming this, they'd probably arrest me. It's the largest producer of anhydrous ammonia in the country, right there. And there are two other plants which work off of the fertilizer plant, creating other chemicals. And then there's a one oak oil installation there, where they pipe the stuff around. The whole valley down through here is full of industry, mostly oil field related, or agricultural related. Now I'm not knocking these people. Because of them, America was able to feed the world at one time. There is risks with such things, as Waco demonstrated. Waco's nowhere near as big as this place is, the plant.